Hi, I'm Kevin with Advanced Leather Solutions. What we're looking at here is a Chesterfield that is clearly seen a lot of use. However, there's really nothing wrong with the leather. The color coating on the leather is what's been affected most. And what we're going to do is refinish this, bringing it back to the original color. The client has identified the original color as underneath this particular fold right here. And if you bring the camera in, you can see how vibrant the original color was. And so that's what we're going to match to. The first step in the process is to gently sand, that allowing us to open up the leather a little bit that will allow us to apply a moisturizing agent to the leather such that we're bringing the moisture content up to near where it was when it was new. This will improve the overall supplements. And then after we've gone through that moisturizing process, we are going to apply a primer coat to all leather surfaces. The purpose of the primer coat is to make sure that we have quality adhesion then we apply a color coat, and then after the color coat, a top coat, and when done, this piece of furniture is going to look new again. So Josh is now gently sanding the leather in order to open it up a little bit that will allow for our deep penetrating moisturizer to soak in. The sanding is not affecting the leather in any negative way. It's simply taking off some of the color coat that's on the leather allowing us to accomplish the goal of moisturizing properly. So you can see the effect of the sanding. This, the next step is to moisturize the leather. What the moisturizing process is going to do is bring suppleness back to the leather so that when we put the finished coating on, it's going to feel the way it did when it was essentially new. The piece now has been sanded and completely wiped down to take off all of the sanding dust. And the next step in the, price or the process is a moisturizing step. We're going to be using a deep penetrating moisturizer and we're going to be using it with uh, a spray process. And so Josh has got the spray gun ready to go. Go ahead and apply the moisturizer. The objective of the moisturizer is to seek, soak, soak into the leather um, and maintain a moisture content of where it needs to be for the life of the piece. This particular chemistry is a special moisturizing chemistry that we make that is not volatile, which means that it does not evaporate away. So some of the priming has already been done on the piece. And you can see the color differential where the area was primed compared to where it wasn't. So for example, the top of this arm has not been primed. Josh is now going to apply the primer to the top of the arm. The purpose of the primer is to set up the leather to accept the color. We're using a gray pad to drive the primer into the epidermal layer. What that does is it ensures that we're going to have quality adhesion of the color coat. This is a pretty straightforward process, but it is the most important step in the overall process because it is what ensures that the end result is going to be a quality finish that will last for years to come. The next step in the process is to pull the tacks. We're going to be doing a full leather restoration and we want to make sure that the color gets in the area between the tacks and the only way we can be sure of that is by pulling the tacks. Typically we can save some of the tacks, but uh, oftentimes we have to replace them all with new. Uh, so um, it's a standard part of what we do when we do leather restoration. So the base coat has now been applied to our Chesterfield project. Uh, and you can see this major, major transformation that has occurred uh, with the application of the base coat. The next step in the process will be the application of an overlay color that we call a print coat that will create a modeling effect. So as you can see, there's been a significant major transformation of this piece of furniture. The leather is in really good shape. The color is looking really good. So uh, we're getting close to concluding. So now we have a base color applied and the next step in the process is to create a modeled coloring effect which will give a more organic look to the project. And so Jason is adding what we call a print color. The print color is more translucent than the base, so you actually see through it to see the interplay between the print and the base. 
It provides a depth of color as well. It makes this leather look more organic, and in the end, it has a more attractive look than just simply a flat single color. So now the print coat has been applied, and we are in the last phase of applying a um, clear coat, which is the primary protection. The clear coat also dictates the chain. It's applied in a similar manner as we applied the color or the print coat. It's using HDLP equipment and spraying the leather surface with a clear coat. The clear coat is going to give the client lots of protection. And when it dries, it'll dry to the sheen that the client requested. So it's a process that was several steps long, uh, but in the end, we have a, a Chesterfield that uh, is in remarkable condition, remembering how it looked when uh, we first started the process. If you have questions about a process like this, please give us a call. We are Advanced Leather Solutions.